Just when you thought it was safe to grab some munchies in the cupboard, a new study warns of cancer in cans and in bags. In cans of Pringles, of all things, and in bags of a myriad of other potato chips. This disturbing truth about an all-time favorite snack may be forcing food manufacturers to change their processing methods. But can the changes really make a difference? Researchers find potato chips, among other processed foods, are loaded with the cancer-causing chemical acrylamide. The substance forms when carbohydrate-rich foods are cooked at very high temperatures. Some of the worst offenders, Pringles and other potato chips and french fries. Federal regulators limit acrylamide in drinking water to just over one-tenth micrograms per 8-ounce glass. However, a 6-ounce serving of potato fries can contain 60 micrograms of acrylamide. That's about 500 times over the allowable limit. Scientists find the amount in potato chips is even more staggering. In some cases, more than 900 times the legal limit. Such studies prompted the state of California to sue potato chip makers in 2005, citing a failure to warn consumers about health risks of acrylamide in their products. The Frito-Lay company and several other potato chip manufacturers agreed on a settlement in 2008. The companies pledged to reduce acrylamide levels in their chips to 275 parts per billion by 2011, which is low enough to avoid needing actual cancer warning labels. But the jury is still out on whether or not the manufacturers have truly reached the requirements. A major challenge lies in how the food is actually made. Since acrylamide is not intentionally added, but rather a byproduct of cooking or processing at temperatures above 212 degrees Fahrenheit, researchers believe that changes in the current manufacturing methods would reduce acrylamide intake by no more than 40%. This brings the question, have potato chips really succeeded in being reduced in acrylamide levels to within legal limits? The data has yet to be updated. However, researchers do issue another warning. Baked potato chips may be worse for you than fried. How could that be? Well, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration found acrylamide levels in baked chips may be more than three times the level of acrylamide in regular chips. This comes as name brands such as Pringles and other companies like Frito-Lay advertise so-called healthier baked varieties of their products. In fact, research suggests that baking processed potatoes at high temperatures may actually be one of the worst ways to cook them. FDA findings on the name brand Oreida may prove to uh, make this point. Another study, Oreida Golden Fries, contain about 107 parts per billion of acrylamide in the regular fried variety, but the baked variety contains nearly 1,100 parts per billion. And if that weren't enough, published research records show dozens of more potential toxins when processed food is heated to high temperatures. In the published study in 2007, scientists concluded that consumers are far less likely to ingest dangerous levels of acrylamide and other carcinogens when eating home-cooked meals and foods compared to industrially prepared snacks. Still, some potato chip manufacturers are working to improve the image of their products. But the end of 2011 marks a time when about half of Pepsi's Frito-Lay brand snacks will be formulated with all natural ingredients. The switch is part of PepsiCo's master plan to tap into healthier food market share. The Wall Street Journal recently reported that the company hopes to boost their nutritional business from $10 billion to $30 billion by 2020. Some 60 Frito-Lay brand snacks are scheduled for an all-natural makeover. Sounds like a new show could be made, reality series. <laughs> but the company is removing some seriously known issues in the health circles, such as monosodium glutamate, also known as MSG, and replace it with natural seasonings, such as molasses and paprika. Now, artificial colors will be replaced with beet juice, purple, cabbage, and carrots presumably for orange color, I suppose. Nutritionists warn that the reformulated chips still lack the health benefits and that the processing depletes food of valuable micronutrients. They urge consumers to eat foods that are raw or minimally processed to avoid the types of toxic byproducts that come from industrially manufactured snacks. 
Healthcare experts agree that cancer, heart disease, obesity, and diabetes have dietary components that with these latest findings on toxins and convenience foods may be causing a shift in consumer demand and altering the direction of food manufacturers in a positive way. This video script has been based largely on a much longer article by Joseph Mercola that is available for viewing on Dr. Mercola's website at www.mercola.com. That's M-E-R-C-O-L-A.com.